Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today Insta360 has released an updated version of the Flow smartphone gimbal. It's now called the Insta360 Flow Pro and it actually has some pretty substantial updates. And that includes support for Apple's new Dock Kit. Dock Kit allows the gimbal to track you no matter what app or camera you're using. You don't have to use the Insta360 app to perform tracking. And that can be really beneficial if you're a person who live streams on platforms such as TikTok or Instagram and many other platforms. You can now use their app and the camera within that app to track you. It has one tap pairing with NFC. It also now supports 360 degree infinity panning. There's no more limiting to how many times the camera can go around and a few other enhancements which we're going to demonstrate throughout this video. Smartphone gimbals are not for everybody. The cameras on smartphones these days and the stabilization is pretty good for most scenarios. But if you are a person who is filming for social media and you're streaming on social media, you know that when you use the built-in cameras, the stabilization is very poor. It's quite a popular trend right now. People are streaming, live streaming while out on the go on platforms such as TikTok. And the video stabilization is just really bad. The camera just does not look good. But with something like the Insta360 Flow Pro, you can now stream to these platforms, have great stabilization, and as mentioned with the Apple Dock Kit, you now have tracking. So here's just a quick demonstration. Right now I'm filming using the TikTok app and the TikTok camera. And you can see that the stabilization is not very good. And it doesn't matter whether you're filming for TikTok using the built-in tools or you're live streaming, maybe you're going for a hike and you want to live stream it. The stabilization and the quality of it's just not going to be that great. On top of that, it's very uncomfortable to hold. You got to keep your arm out in front of you at all times. And, uh, you know, it's a very tight shot because your arm can only reach so far. So, yeah, that's where a handheld stabilizer can come in handy. So we'll switch over to that next and I'll show you the difference. So now I've got the phone in the stabilizer and I'm still filming in the TikTok app, but you can see it's a lot more smoother. There's not as much jitter and bounce in the video. The phone is also much more comfortable to hold. I can have it at a nicer distance, uh, especially if you are hiking or doing something and you want to show more of the background. It's just more comfortable and uh, you can be more flexible with it. Now another nice upgrade this year is that the Flow Pro now supports MagSafe. So this is an optional purchase. This is an adapter that you attach to your MagSafe compatible device. Now if you're using a phone that doesn't use MagSafe, of course the gimbal does ship with this clamp and it is compatible with most smartphones. But this MagSafe accessory is super handy because you can just leave it attached to your phone because sometimes if you're out sightseeing or on vacation, Sometimes you're filming with just your phone, other times you want to use your gimbal. When you're ready to connect it to the Insta360 Flow Pro, it's as simple as that. You no longer have to mess around with clamps. When you want to take it off, you just pull it. So it's just a really nice intuitive system. Now the Flow Pro has to be probably one of the easiest gimbals to deploy and start filming. It unfolds with one simple motion. As soon as it's unfolded, it powers on and you're ready to start filming. When you're done filming, packing it up is just as easy. Again, one motion to power it off. Disconnect your phone, throw it in your pocket, and away you go. Now with this NFC, setting it up for the first time is super simple. It's a matter of unfolding it, letting it power on. You're just gonna disconnect the phone. You're gonna tap it near the top. You're gonna notice right away that it picks up the Insta360 Flow Pro. We're gonna hit connect. Gives you a message that it's configuring accessory for the first use. And then we get a message that it's done. And that's it. Once you've done it once, you don't have to repair it every time. The Flow Pro is going to know when it's connected. You can tell it's connected because this green light comes on around the ring here. And when a camera locks onto you, this will start to flash signifying that it is tracking you. So if you're standing away from the camera and you're using the back cameras, you always know it's locked onto you. Now that can be disabled in the settings if you find that green light distracting. You can turn that off in the settings. So you can see here I've just launched the iOS camera app, not the Insta360 app, and this ring here is now flashing. So that's signifying that it's now locked onto me, and no matter which way I move, this camera is going to rotate and always face me and keep me in the center. The gimbal also features a built-in selfie stick, so that's great for if you're going to be using it for vlogging and you want a little bit distance for a wider shot. You can also set the angle of the gimbal to make it more comfortable, more of a natural viewing angle. It has a built-in tripod. 
So you can easily set it down if you want to capture a motion time lapse or you're going to be doing something in a kitchen and you want to film yourself and you want the camera to follow you. Of course, like all gimbals, it has different types of filming modes, stabilization modes. So depending if you want it locked forward, it even has FPV if you want to get a little bit creative. A simple press, you can go from vertical to horizontal. So if you're going to be filming for multiple platforms, you can switch back and forth very easily. And just like all Insta360 products, you have full use of the Insta360 app. With it, you can use their DeepTrack 2.0 if you don't want to use any third-party apps. And the DeepTrack 3.0 got upgraded as well. It now supports tracking of animals. You have full use of all the creative editing tools within the Insta360 app, and that includes the AI warp. So if you want to get creative for social media, it is a fun tool to play around with. On the back here, we have a built-in cold shoe. So if you want to connect a wireless mic receiver that you're going to connect to your phone if you're doing some vlogging, you don't have to worry about any third-party gear. The cold shoe is already built in. So right now, I'm just going to show you a quick sample of using the Insta360 Flow Pro for vlogging. Right now, I have the Rode Wireless Pro connected to it, and uh, that way we can get some nice audio. And it's just a great tool for creators if you want to do some vlogging. It's comfortable to hold. You get that extra reach if you want a wider shot. And then, of course, on top of that, you've got all the other built-in tools such as time lapses, motion time lapses, and hyperlapses if you want to integrate some extra footage into your vlogs. Now, another accessory that they offer for the Flow Pro is this little light. If you're going to be using the Flow Pro for vlogging and you're going to be filming in some dimly lit areas, something like this can really make a difference and help brighten up your face. It's really small, but it's extremely bright. Now, just keep in mind this accessory can only be used in conjunction with the clamp, not if you're using the MagSafe accessory. It is extremely simple to use. You just attach your phone like normal, and there's a clip on it that just attaches, just like that. You can see here at the top there's a USB-C port, that's where you plug it in. That is output only to power accessories such as the light. For charging the device, you're going to be using this USB-C down here by the dial. It flips around from front to back, so whether you're going to be using the back cameras or the front camera, you can angle it accordingly. There's controls on the side there. You can adjust the brightness and the color temperature. So for some people, the Insta360 Flow Pro is going to be a useful tool. As mentioned, gimbals are not for everybody. Not everybody's gonna make use of them. But for content creators, people who create content for social media, vloggers, it can really enhance your workflow and creativity. Well, folks, that is basically it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.